There's not a tractor to be seen, but this is what harvest looks like at Queenscliff. This crew is about to go and pick seaweed from the bottom of the ocean. But this is no ordinary seaweed. It's called Asparagopsis armata, and feeding it to livestock can reduce the amount of methane in a cow's gut by up to 98%. Essentially, we're actually propagating seaweed from sea floor to, to our lines, and, and basically we're just giving it the, the assistance it needs and structure for it to grow. This is Victoria's first seaweed farm, and this project is looking to grow cattle feed additive on a commercial scale. It's really exciting to see what might become, particularly in Victoria. There's a lot of great sites along Victoria coastline. We know that cattle need around 50 grams per day fed to them um, in order to the, for methane to be reduced. So if we think just in terms of the um, dairy herd here in Australia, there's 1.5 million cows. If successful, it will go a long way to helping Australia's primary producers meet their goals of becoming carbon neutral. It demonstrates that we can actually solve the problem. It demonstrates that we can invest in and discover or find, invent technologies that get us down the path to being carbon neutral by 2030. Livestock industry leaders have invested heavily in the technology and say it's close to being commercially viable. There's a number of companies that are growing and producing uh, the supplement now, initially as a freeze-dried product, but also looking at other options. These waters could contribute to a significant reduction in greenhouse gas emissions. An AgriFutures report found there's the potential for a $1.5 billion seaweed industry by 2040, but the benefits won't be confined to the livestock industry. And depending on what the end product might be used for that seaweed depends on what species you're looking at. So you might want to use it for medicine industry or perhaps the beauty or it can also be applied in the food, food industry as well. The answer to reducing gas in the atmosphere could be sitting at the bottom of the sea. Peter Somerville, ABC News, Port Arlington.